All right, everybody. Welcome to the first video on the channel. I uh, really appreciate if you're watching this. Um, hope to grow the channel pretty big. Um, so I didn't really know what to do. So I figured, shoot, why not? No pun intended. Why not just uh, show off my rifle build? I got this build like two or three weeks ago. Immediately threw some stuff on it. Uh, obviously, before you ever shoot it, you want to make it look super cool, even though it's not practical at the moment. <laughs> um, so at the guts of this, the bones, it is a, uh, go ahead and show it a little bit better. So right here is a Radical Firearms upper and lower. So super cool build, um, super cool gun. Never had a Radical Firearms, never shot one. Heard, uh, heard some good things from them and uh, they're Texas made. So obviously uh, that, was a, that was a great selling point for me. Just a good old 16 inch. It's got a, uh, let me go ahead and make this, make YouTube happy. Clear and safe, nothing in there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lock it back and put the door back up. So uh, I think it's called an A2 or a four something dash. I'm not sure off the top of my head, but it is the, uh, it is just a vertical compensator. Super simple muzzle device that came with it. I'm probably not gonna switch it out just cause there's no point um, unless I get a suppressor then I will uh, switch it out to some kind of adapter for that suppressor. Um, but it's a 16 inch 5.56, not a 2.23 wild. So it only shoots strictly 5.56. So I didn't need the 2.23 wild. I didn't need to shoot both 2.23 and 5.56. I've had the 2.23 wild before. I don't shoot 2.23, there's just no point in it for me. 5.56 is a lot more readily available, a lot more options. Um, this gun shoots green tip. It has only ever shot and will only ever shoot green tip, most likely, unless for some reason I'm coyote hunting or, you know, see a pig in, uh, you know, in a field somewhere um, on my property, obviously. Um, see a pig somewhere, then uh, I have a hollow point mag, um, which I'll show you here in, a, here in a minute when we get to the gun bag. Um, but very simple, we'll start from the back. This is a MFT Mission First Tactical uh, buttstock. Very simple. Um, it came with the gun. I like this style. It's better. It you know there's it's at the end of the day it's there's not going to be the the biggest difference between uh, some of these things some of these stocks back here. Uh, this is just the one that came with that. Probably won't switch it out just because I don't care enough. Um, I've had the mil spec. I've had the mil stick spec stock on uh, other rifles before. They just always had a weird shaking to them. This one doesn't shake. So I don't know, I appreciate that. It's just a little something small, but it, it does go a long way. So right here, I have a Magpul FDE. Well, it's Magpul's FDE color. Um, do not know the model off the top of my head. It's just a, just a basic Magpul uh, grip, nothing special for it. Really amazing thing, it came with ambidextrous controls. So that was pretty cool. Don't have to switch them out to ambidextrous. Um, I will switch them out at some point. I don't shoot it enough right now, but at some point I will switch it out to the 45 degree, degree throw. I really appreciate that. It's just something, another one of those small things. It's just really pretty cool, honestly. And it looks cool. That's all this gun is, uh, is really for. It's not for uh, the end of the world. It's not for clearing houses. It's not for a uh, professional capacity. Simply just a gun, just to have, number one, and to look cool with. That's all it is. Um, trigger, standard mil spec trigger that comes with it. Looked up all the specs on their website. Very simple. Um, I'll move up here. I've got a SIG Romeo 5. I've had, I've had this on there on this specific rifle for the only three weeks I've had it. Um, I had the Romeo 5, it's the first ever red dot I actually spent money on to get a reputable name. I uh, have not ever changed the battery in like a year, year and a half. I haven't shot it consistently over that year, year and a half. Uh, you know, this optic on a rifle. Um, I'll probably just switch it out just for the heck of it. Zero day in on this rifle last week, um, super good. Has the shake awake feature, so I never even worried about turning it off. 
I don't use it, like I said, in a professional capacity, so there's really no use to try and preserve whatever battery life I have. Um, right here on the bottom of the trigger guard, I also stopped by and got a Magpul, the little extender that's good with gloves. You just give you a little bit more room in the trigger guard. Um, sorry, YouTube, put my finger in there. Um, I will be at some point switching out switching out the uh, the magazine release. I had a uh, bad lever from Magpul on my previous rifle build. It, I don't know. It, I think it got in the way more than it helped. It was definitely because it it uh, comes connects down from back here, comes down into the trigger guard, and then it puts a little. Um, if you've never seen it, Google it. It'd be a lot better than me trying to explain it. But it puts a little device right here, a little extender, kind of like example where my pinky is. And you can just flick that down with your firing hand. You don't have to come across and uh, hit the hit the mag release or the bolt catch. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, on here, I have some Tactician Armament 45 degree sights. Just 45 degree sights off of Amazon. They are metal. Um, do not skimp out and get plastic ones. Plastic ones will break. I don't care if you don't use it that often, even in the bag, even if they're folded up, you're still gonna break. Just get metal. Um, these were like 40 bucks off Amazon and they're amazing. Super easy, super simple to use. Came with the Allen key to throw it on there, but it's the same Allen key that uh, all, the, all the rails from Magpul take. So you probably have one laying around anyways. And they're just good. They flip down. Well, maybe. They're just good flip down sights. That's all. I leave them uh, I leave them deployed all the time just because why not? Makes no difference to me. Um, so I bought this gun at uh, from a buddy at a pawn shop. It was uh, it is new, of course. But I uh, bought it from him, and then on the way home, I swung by a uh, another gun shop in the area. They specialize in more the tactical side, the more modern side, the outside of just being a pawn shop. Um, so that's where I picked up the Magpul grip. You got the ambidextrous charging handle right here. It's a Radian Raptor look-alike. Um, it's kind of that FDE, that same Magpul FDE. It is a unbranded one, but I have had a Radian Raptor before on a previous rifle. And it was like the early, early generation, the very first one. All, uh, if you've had one, you've had them all, I'll be honest with you. I've shot a couple different ones, used a couple different ones, um, used some Geisler ones, used some Daniel Defense ones, used some uh, some other no-name brands. They all work the same, I'll be honest with you. Um, I do, would like to get my hands on one of the Radian Raptor SLs, I believe is the suppressed, made for suppression, it's, and then it has the little ports right here, uh, right here on the shaft. Uh, just bleed off some of that gas before it gets back to your face. It's a pretty pretty cool little system. So right here on the bottom, just got a very simple um, Magpul hand stop. This came in a Magpul hand stop kit, um, but this is not the curved version. This is not the J shape. This is just one of the straight down ones that's used for the back. Um, I put it on here just because it doesn't make a difference to me, honestly. I'm still gonna work the same. Um, another thing I grabbed from the gun shop, just a good old QD for, uh, for some ammo lock, just to run a sling. We just moved, and for some reason, I cannot find my rifle sling. So whenever I find my sling, uh, I'll throw it back on here, but uh, here we go. The most expensive thing on this gun, besides the gun itself, is the Olight, um, the Olight, Odin GL Mini. So uh, the GL stands for Green Laser. Let's see if we can put it back there. You, hopefully you can see it on the wall. But it's got the, you can do the green laser, and then you can do the, the light with the laser, and you can do just light by itself. I keep it on light, just because why not? Um, it comes with it came with the, of course, the actual light, and uh, it came with this quick detach mount, so you, you can twist this up, and then you press this button, and it pops right off. 
uh, it is a pretty cool design. Now you've got a handheld flashlight or laser or whatever, and then it just slides right back on. You lock this into place. Maybe we'll do that later. And then it has this little magnetic cap that is connected to the pressure pad. Super cool magnet. Uh, magnet pops in there. You lock this. You lock this little coupler up, and then uh, then you're good to rock and roll with that pressure plate. And it's a pretty cool setup. So kind of hard to see, but in between the light and the rail, you can see that I have this little Magpul light extender. Um, I know that's mainly for suppressors and stuff. I would love to get a suppressor one day, um, but it just gets the light beyond the barrel. Um, if I didn't have it, there would be no bleed. There would no. There would be no bleed of light. There would be no uh, reflection off of the muzzle muzzle device. Anyways, I don't think not much, not noticeable. But I just got it just for looks. Uh, that's what this gun is mainly used for. It's just for looks. Um, so that is the brunt of the rifle. I do not know the twist of the barrel off the top of my head. Probably one to eight. I would assume that's what most market stuff is. Um, the 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 bolt carrier group that came, uh, this is the one that came with it. It is the uh, Radical Firearms. Nothing special about it, just nothing special. Just good old bolt carrier group. Same thing with the barrel. I would have to look on our website, and of course you can look that too, to see what uh, see what they use. Cold hammer forged, nitride, whatever. You know, whatever the industry is doing these days. Um, all the cool guys are using. Um, Mid-length gas system, as most 16 inch uh, rifles from the factory are. And it's, uh, it's very simple. I will get uh, a couple extra gizmos and gadgets for it. Um, I would love to get in a night vision game, um, but the money's just not there at the moment. I've got a couple other things to, keep, to take care of, mainly saving up for, uh, as you'll see in the channel description, I would really, really, really love to open my own gun shop slash gun range here in uh, Northeast Texas. Don't know where yet. Um, that's probably a couple years off down the road, really saving a lot of money for that. Um, but I want to get familiar, spend a little bit of that money on the actually, actually the industry, get my foot in the door, get familiar with uh, a couple different products from a couple different brands. It's just, uh, it's kind of one of those things that uh, you got to suck it up and save all the other money that you can. It's a, uh, it's very bright light. I have to look on the box for the lumens and everything. And, Kendall and blah, blah, blah. Um, but you can all Google that stuff if you're super interested. It's a light, it's bright. All right, so here we go. This is the rifle bag. I keep it in kind of a second part to uh, to this video. Very, very simple. It's a Allen rifle bag. It's from Walmart. I keep nothing in the front zipper here. Uh, when I go to the range, I'll throw gloves in here because if it's an outdoor range, once you get to shooting about a mag, you've got a black barrel. I live in Texas, praise God. Um, so it, it gets a little warm, especially now. Um, we're in the first first couple, first week of May, so we're going to start warming up. Uh, nothing is in the pockets except a mag for mag. Yeah, it's very simple. Um, when I go out of the house, I keep a tourniquet in the front pocket right here. You never have too many. Um, I will post a EDC video soon to uh, just kind of get some more content on the channel. But it's nothing special about the rifle bag. It's just got, you know, it's... Got a backpack strap if you like it, and some handles. Um, so as you saw in the first part of the video, I said that that rifle will only ever shoot practice, um, just plinking at the range, using it out on uh, on the farm, whatever. You only ever use green tips. Um, there's just it's a good, reliable ammunition. Hits hard. You're not going to over penetrate majority of things. Um, but it's, still, it's obviously it's 556 out of 16 inch. Um, with a most likely, like I said, a one to eight twist, which is usually industry standard these days for those kind of rifles. So uh, it's shooting the bullet pretty fast anyways. Um, but this, I have it painted just uh, just like a tan Rust-Oleum color. Um, still got my name on there and all that. Um, just for when I shoot with other people and at the range or if I drop it in the field um, at the lease or wherever, whatever land I'm on. Um, that way my last name's on it and uh, people can identify it more easily. But honestly, if you lose a PMAG, it's not the end of the world. Um, we've all got a million of them. Um, but this ammunition in here, uh, I've got it sharpied. I hope you can see it. 
I've got uh, it sharpied on the bullets a, with a black marker, just to mark it as hollow points. Of course, you can look at it and tell. Um, if it's not a green tip, I'll be honest, all my am ammunition for the 5.56 is green tip. Um, so if it's not marked with green tip, then it's probably a hollow point. If it's not a hollow point, it's green tip. <laughs> it makes it pretty simple, but I was uh, sitting around one day loading it, and I was like, you know what? I'll just make it look at it a little extra special. Um, don't remember the brand off the top of my head. I got these rounds a couple years ago. They haven't been in the mag the entire time, um, but they've, they're a couple. Got them a couple years ago. I shoot them every now and then just to just make sure they're still cycling, that kind of deal. Um, you can see on here, I've got some gold marker on there, uh, just painted in a couple different spots. That is just to signify that, hey, this is hollow point, not green tip. And I've also got it uh, there on the bottom. So when it's in a plate carrier, or if it's uh, some reason on my belt or whatever, uh, that way I can look at the top of it and see that it is hollow point, not green tip. Um, so that is the video. Super appreciative of y'all watching uh, the first video. Go ahead and uh, like, comment, do all the stuff that uh, puts this video out there in the gun community. Uh, again, really appreciative. And uh, if you're watching this, I hope you stick around. Um, 